darling Tilak is doing horse chestnuts. She's put them in the fridge, all wet for one week, and they've started to grow. And now she's putting them into little bags with soil in them, hoping they're going to grow into nice big trees. So these are the horse chestnuts that have been left for one week in the fridge in a wet damp cloth in like a Tupperware plastic container and then this end is being put into the soil like that this end is going to be the roots and then where's going to where where will come the um the, the plant the top we'll see where the actual plant pops through um these are the ones that have been planted already I'm sure in a week's time we'll be able to see where they pop out from. So there, yeah, I'll get back to you soon. So fast forward about three weeks and this is what we have so far. I'm gonna grab one of these and try and get a close up maybe. So what's happened is the root's gone into the ground, it's come up through the root. Not as I thought, it was going to come from the, from the, from the chestnut itself. And I don't know whether we're supposed to leave the chestnut above the ground or whether we're supposed to bury it or what part that plays, what role that plays now. I don't really know whether this is really the best environment for them. Get back to us if you think that we're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> I could say. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah, some people may not think it's very interesting. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Uh, strange, strange roots, strange how it happens, but nature's a beautiful thing sometimes. So that's it for the for the horse chestnut propagation, seed growing, tree growing situation. But I'll try and send out new videos or photos of uh, the the horse chestnuts once they've grown a little bit more and see how they fare in the Thailand heat. Right, bye for now. Okay so I thought I'd do a quick update on the chestnut situation. These are all the all of what's left about what we what we planted. Um, most of them did sort of sprout and give us something but um, then sort of stunted and didn't really grow too well. A lot of tree, a lot of the trees have got leaves like this. A lot of the, a lot of the leaves have sort of went like this, where it goes brown at the end. So Joy's cut them all off, and then we're going to hope they're going to regrow again. But um, yeah, the, the horse chestnut thing was, I think, was a bit more of an experiment more than a, a hope, like sort of a hopeful goal that we were going to get some chestnut trees. I think what I'm going to do is pick maybe three or four of the best, best of these and give them a go in the soil with a load of other stuff that we're going to be planting and we'll see how they go. Um, we'll keep the other ones but um, yeah I, I think we're just going to take the strongest uh, four and, and maybe plant them and, and hope that they go well in the future. Okay now, well that's it from um, the, uh, the, the chestnut sort of situation. If we do plant them I'll, I'll, I'll do another update and, um, and and show you I'll show you how they get on but uh, so I would say these I would say these plants are at least four or five months old um, and then some of them are doing quite well so like these two here doing pretty well these two here are doing pretty well but the others not so well you know they've got uh, quite a good stem quite a good trunk so you know it's, it's worth holding on to them and seeing how they fare Okay then, that's it from me from Thailand. Uh, please subscribe if you can, and if you've got this far in the video, you know, give it a like if you've liked what um, what, what it's all about and stuff, and share the hell out of it. Okay, so that's it from me for now. Bye for now.